All right, so I'm here in the bathroom, and we've been having this issue with our toilet, where uh, it doesn't the toilet bowl doesn't hold water. So this seal around uh, the base of this ball that opens up when you flush, uh, that's leaking. So no water holds in the bowl, which is kind of a pain because the water is the, the biggest barrier um, between the toilet and the black tank, and that's the water is what prevents um, the smell from kind of coming up. So we get a little bit of odor um, because the water leaks, so uh, we figured it's about time we fix it. So we just got one of these uh, Dometic Bowl seal kits. Um, comes in a little package like this. We just got it off of Amazon. I don't remember how much it was. It wasn't a lot. But it comes with this like flexible rubber ring. Um, actually two flexible rubber rings. So, And so uh, first things first, you have these plastic clamps that actually hold the toilet bowl to the base of the toilet. So the base is plastic, the toilet bowl is porcelain. And those are secured with one of these clamps that uh, you screw and it tightens. Uh, so I've already removed that. Um, and I guess the next step is to take the bowl off. So I just need to lift it up basically. It also says to remove the, the vacuum breaker valve, which is what this is. Um, it says it just pulls out in the instructions, but this one looks like it's like screwed in. I don't really know how to get that out, so I don't really want to mess with it. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> this is going to be messy and disgusting. So normally you have this piece here, which is what we're replacing. It also recommends uh, cleaning the ball and checking to see if there's any scra uh, scratches or nicks or anything that would pre uh, also be preventing uh, preventing it from sealing properly. So this is pretty gross. <laughs> so we didn't know this uh, previously, but we saw in our manual that the our toilet actually came with it almost looks like a toothbrush um, it's like a real skinny handle uh, not very thick at all and it's meant to slide between the um, the seal this rubber ring uh, and the actual ball here so you, when you clean the toilet you're actually supposed to shove it in this crack around it and kind of scrub and that prevents this corrosion from happening but we had no idea that that existed. Um, it was actually taped to the bottom of the bowl and I had never been used, so. So this is like, what, 12 years of gunk buildup? It's really actually not that bad. So that might be something to check out and, uh, and uh, make one of your routine toilet uh, cleaning and maintenance things is to uh, find a little kind of skinny, just kind of scrub brush or something that you can kind of squeeze between the ball and the seal and just uh, keep that clean. So if the installation is supposed to be pretty easy, um, especially with this model of toilet. Um, we have a Dometic toilet, I don't know if I mentioned that, I'm not sure what the model is, but it's the one with the porcelain bowl. And so I guess there's this little notch here, and it lines up with a notch on the actual uh, rim. So you just line up these notches here. Uh, this whole, some models of the toilet, I guess, have a drain valve here. That's what that hole's for. And then you put the bowl back on top. Then you just put these plastic rings back on. Cool, it looks like that fixed the issue. 
Um, I think normally it would have been drained by now, but we'll let it sit for a little bit and see, see if it worked. So the toilet is holding water. Uh, it has been for a couple hours, so I think it's fixed, so that's pretty awesome. That was a pretty easy fix, so if, if anybody uh, has ever worked with their RV toilet before, it's kind of a pain in the butt, um, but that was actually really easy, so I was actually really surprised.